So, I was just, you know, sitting here today and kind of sitting there thinking, hey, kind of want to make a video. I don't know what to do. Also, I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. <coughs> I just had a bunch of really spicy food. So, if in and out I get a bunch of phlegm, that is why. Um, but you guys really seem to enjoy the videos I made of, like, my microphone review. Which it wasn't really a view, review, it was an unboxing and a uh, sound test for the microphone. Once again, I'm using it again, and I shouldn't really call it a microphone, I should call it a headset. But yeah, I, so I'm using the microphone right now on the headset. And I just kind of wanted to talk about, like, everything I've been through with the headsets I've had. And then, like, what I've been able to do with this headset specifically. And how I think it actually has improved and, like, helped me. Like, you'll see in some of this gameplay, this is actually a video... Um, that was uploaded on the iCore channel and is going to be uploaded later on this week for my channel. Um, but yeah. So, that's why if it gets laggy or it looks kind of weird quality, it's because I'm compressing it twice. I, I compressed it. Or rendered once. Um, anyway. I definitely think that this headset has helped me a lot. Um, before this I had a Razer headset. I don't remember what it was called I can look it up really quickly but it was pretty good it claimed to have surround sound and they like did this test where you would um, put it on and they would like run an audio file thing and it sounded like a helicopter flying around you but I mean I could do the same thing with this headset and I could do the calibration through that app and do the same thing and it sounds the same so like it's not that big a deal to me, um, but I've definitely noticed that this headset's a lot louder, and it handles a lot better, and um, it's not, like, super bassy. I mean, it's a little bassy, but, you know, some of the gaming headsets out there that are, like, cheaper, like the HyperX Cloud 2s are, are really, really, really bassy <coughs> and a little annoying. Um, but, yeah, so it was cheap. The the Kraken Pros, I think they're called, or, you know, <coughs> sorry for coughing, too. Um, the Kraken Pros, I got them in neon. They were, like, 50 bucks or 60 bucks. I got them from Target, and I was like, okay, this is cool. You know, I have a Razer keyboard, so I figured I'd get a Razer headset. I got the Razer headset, and I had it for a little bit, but the construction's... Like, the sound's good, it's alright. I don't anywhere near think it's as good as this headset I have on right now, and I'm using to record this audio. Um, it's plastic, so the construction's not the greatest to me. Um, the, like I said, the sound quality was okay. The microphone quality <coughs> was iffy. I probably wouldn't have used the microphone to record any videos. Um, I think I did a couple of times because I had to. Um, I don't know if I still have that audio, but I can kind of try and see if I can be like, hey, this is that audio versus now. Um, but yeah. So, anyway, I definitely think the microphone quality on this headset's better. The build quality is so much better. It's like aluminum on this headset. There's plastic some places, but the actual thing, like you know, the headphones sit in and they adjust on. All of it's like aluminum or some sort of lightweight metal, so I mean, you can tell you have a headset on, but it's pretty light, and the leather earmuffs are the ones I used. I haven't used the suede ones yet. The leather ones are really nice. Uh, I'm thinking about switching to suede now because it's summer, so I get kind of hot and the leather kind of sticks to my face. So I'm just letting you guys know, if you live in like a hotter climate, um, you know, it's you can always switch or something. Um, but yeah, I really like the construction. It sounds really good. Obviously, you know, the mic sounds good. You guys can hear it right now. Um, I've had no problems with it. I've been able to hear footsteps a lot better um, in games like Rainbow Six Siege with my old headset. Even before it broke on me. I had it for, I think, four months and then it broke on me. Um, even before it broke on me, I couldn't really hear footsteps at all. But now with this headset, I can actually sit there and listen. So I've been getting better at Rainbow because before I kind of just guess where everyone was. Now I can hear where people are stepping. And like I was playing Battlefield 4 the other day, which the sound design in that game kind of sucks. 
a little bit because it can sound like people are to the left of you, but in reality they're to the right of you or vice versa. So it could be like sound like to the right, but they're on the left. So that's been a pain, but at least I've been able to tell like, okay, so well, I know it might not be super accurate, but I can tell someone's coming towards me, so I have a better chance then. But yeah, so it's been a lot better when it comes to hearing footsteps. I definitely, I not definitely, I definitely recommend it for that. Um, if you guys want to check it out, you can go to Amazon, or I got them for Best Buy because I was there and was going to buy like a new keyboard, but I was like, I don't need a new keyboard. I could use a new headset because mine's broken. But yeah, so pretty much that's all I have to say. The sound quality is way better. I don't really know, like, other than the microphone, which you're hearing right now, how to show you how it sounds like in my ears, other than physically telling you that it's really good. Like, I've had beats before, and it's not super bassy like beats are, which I actually like that. Like, it's actually good balance, in my opinion. There's still some bass. If you want a little bit more serious of, like, a comparison of audio, I think Linus Tech Tips did a video. I'll try and link it down below. Um, but yeah, so, I can't really explain to you, like, how it sounds on my ears, but the mic quality, as you guys can hear, is really good. Um, it sounds good to me, and it sounds balanced. I can hear footsteps, I can hear explosions, I can hear things going on around me, so I'm more aware in my game. Um, I will definitely, probably not switch, I would think. I love this headset so much, and obviously, like I've said a thousand times now, I like the mic quality so much, I probably will, well, if this one ever breaks, I'll get another one, or I'll get the next upgrade, or I think they have one headset after this that's like, this one's like $80 or $90, I think they have one after it that's like a hundred and some dollars, so, yeah, I can't, this one is, it's like a hundred bucks, but if you go to... They have multiple ones, by the way, so if you guys end up going like Amazon, you can just look up HyperX Cloud, and it'll come up with, there's the uh, HyperX Cloud 2s, which are the ones I have, which you can get in a gunmetal gray configuration, or the red configuration. Um, there's the Stingers, which um, are like the cheaper ones that are more plasticky. They're pretty much like the Razors I, talk <coughs> I talked about, the Kraken. They seem the same. Um... There's like a weird gaming one that's cheaper. I don't know what it is. It's like a KHX. And then there's the Revolver S, which is $150, so obviously it's $50 more. Um, it has like LEDs, and it looks like it's a little bit better construction. I'll try and find pictures to throw up here uh, in the video, obviously. But they all, as far as I know, have Dolby surround sound. Like, I'm pretty sure my cloud ones, like I said, have Dolby surround sound, so pretty well balanced, and I've improved. I went from being someone that would go negative in every game or not get a single kill to someone that was an MVP like three games in a row and got like 12 kills or whatever, so it's not that big a deal. I'm just, I'm not bragging, obviously. I'm just letting you guys know, like, obviously, you know, sound really helps, um, and it's really hard to, like, work and build skill when your kind of your foundation is how well you control things like with your controller <coughs> um your reaction times and how well things sound to you and time control and speaking of controller i actually ordered a new one that i will be doing an unboxing for and a review and we'll see how it helps it's a razor's rowcat i had the 360 one and i really 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 liked it um it was a really good controller for me so i bought the xbox one version and We'll see how that goes, but yeah, Ariel, I've taken them off pretty hard, and when I took one of my Razer headset off because it's plastic, it snapped, and the earphones quit, well, like, the right ear piece quit working, um, so, yeah, that hasn't happened because this one's obviously metal, and it's really worth it, you know, for, if you have $40 more, definitely go get it. If you don't have $40 more, then the Razers aren't a bad choice, I'm just saying, if you have 40 more bucks, or... 30 more bucks or whatever the amount is, then, yeah, definitely go check it out. Um, I definitely recommend them. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video or want me to do more of these, hopefully I can be a little bit more prepared and do some more research for the next ones. But, like I said, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more.